Imagine making over 50 movies, but achieving lasting fame for just 45 seconds of film in which a homicidal maniac dressed up as his mother stabs you to death in the shower. That was the fate of Janet Lee, an acclaimed and award-winning actress who starred in seminal films like The Manchurian Candidate and Orson Welles' A Touch of Evil, as well as crowd-pleasers like The Vikings and the 1949 version of Little Women. But she will forever be remembered as the light-fingered Marion Crane, who stole a wad of cash from her boss before coming to a grisly end in the Bates Motel in Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 groundbreaking study in terror, Psycho. Still, at least she received an Academy Award nomination for her trouble and won a Golden Globe. Perhaps Marion Crane's lonely end wasn't quite that big a stretch, though, for Janet's formative years were marked by isolation and solitude. The only child of parents with itchy feet, Janet never had the chance to settle in one place, but spent much of her free time in cinemas. Her personal life hinted at a desire for stability and affection. She was just 14 when she eloped with John Carlyle, but the marriage was later annulled. Tony Curtis, whom she married in 1951, was actually her third husband, and she was still only 24 when they wed. Curtis and Janet had two daughters together, Hollywood star Jamie Lee Curtis and her older sister Kelly, who was also an actor. The marriage, however, was not a happy one, with Curtis admitting to cheating on Janet throughout the 11 years of their union. He finally left her in 1961 for Christine Kaufman. Janet had more luck with her fourth husband, stockbroker Robert Brandt, whom she married in 1962 and was with until her death in 2004 at the age of 77. In her later years, Janet worked only sporadically, battling the ill effects of vasculitis and peripheral neuropathy, which led to gangrene in her right hand. Confessing to being terrified on viewing the film that made her name, Janet said many times that she avoided showers for the rest of her life.